Hey guys, Nick here with Tech Rodeo. In this video, we're going to go over Server Core 2016. What we're going to do is actually set a static IP address and set a static DNS for the server. All right, so let's get started. All right, so what you want to do is start off by typing start PowerShell. Okay, so we're going to give this some time to load. It should just be another second or so. So to set a static IP address, you can definitely do it all through command line, but it is a little bit easier and better to do it through PowerShell. So what we want to do now is actually um, type this command, get net adapter. What you can do is actually hit the tab button, it'll auto populate the command there. And here we go. So it's going to go ahead and populate it. There we go. So it's going to tell me that it's an Intel Pro 100 or 1000. It's going to be the IF index of four. All right. So uh, we're going to need this information for our next command here. So our next command is actually uh, new dash net. No, it's going to be new net IP address. So what we want to do is hit a space dash. We're going to do interface index. There we go. And it's going to be number four, just like it states above, IF index number four. We then want to go ahead and type in dash IP address. All right, we're going to type in the IP address of um, 192.160. Oh. NumLock isn't on. Let me go ahead and try that again. Oh, there we go. So I just hit the down arrow and it just repopulated what I had typed in. So 192.168.86. Dot. We're going to go ahead and just pick a random one. I'm just going to do uh, 60. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and um, put the prefix length. So this is going to be, you know, your 255 subnet. So prefix. And just like I said before, you can hit the tab button. It will auto fill that in. We're going to do 24 on this. And we'll go ahead and type in the default gateway. So command for default gateway again. My default gateway is that right there we're gonna hit we're gonna hit enter perfect so it went ahead and it filled that in for us so IP address 60 interface index is 4 all right great so next we want to do is actually set up the DNS so to set up the DNS you would type in set dash DNS and let's go ahead through these settings real quick. Let's find the right one. Oh, I think we just missed it. It is server address. Here we go. Perfect. So we're going to do the same thing. Type in interface index. It's going to be number four. We then want to type in the server address. And we're going to use Google's uh, server here for our DNS client. So 8.8.8.8, comma. 8.8.4.4 and then we're going to close that off with a bracket oh I'm actually missing quotations around this so what we want to do is put quotations around the numbers here there you go so see how it changed blue that means that it is now correct we'll go ahead and hit enter and that's it so we put the DNS in we already changed the IP address let's type in IP config it will go ahead and show the new IP address with the gateway We'll type in IP config space forward slash all. It'll give us a little bit more information here. So as you can see right here, this is all changed. So our DNS servers are our Google servers. We have our gateway right there. And that's pretty much it. All right. So um, I am going through some training, doing some Windows Server Core um, type stuff. Uh, I, I'm actually looking to get my cert certification with this. So you will see a lot more videos on Windows Server Core training, um, just little how-tos, little videos and guides. So if you guys have any questions, please um, put them in the comments below, like and subscribe, and enjoy your day, guys.